Me Cute, and I'm in Texas this week with my sister and Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. You may have seen some pictures already on Instagram of all the fun we're having. Um, but I have a wonderful video for you this week and I'm going to teach you about tips and tricks to doing your own gel polish. So let's get started. So a friend uh, recommended this kit and this brand and I picked this up at CVS. They carry it at Walgreens as well, but I caught it on a promo at CVS. The whole kit was $38. Now this particular box is just the essentials kit, but in the, in the big kit it comes with the lamp and everything that you need to get started to do gel fingernail polish. I used to go to the salon every two weeks and get my nails done. And the reason I like this kind of polish is because as you can see on my nails how shiny and nice it is it stays that way the entire time that you have it on and it doesn't chip or break off like regular polish so in the box it's going to have an instruction card and it's going to give you all the instructions that you need step by step to do your nails um, but there are a few other things that I've learned from watching the ladies at the salon and how to get your nails to come out just like the salon and I figured I would just show those things with you the first thing you want to do is do this um, primer and so I'm just going to take that and put that all over the nail. This is not like a polish or anything like that, so it doesn't matter how uh, nice and particular you are with that. And then it just says to let that dry for a minute or two. And so then the next step is going to be your base coat and top coat. For this particular brand, it comes all in one. So you're just gonna take this and put a nice, pretty coat of this on all of your nails. This is where you don't wanna get too thick or too gloppy, and you definitely don't wanna get over onto your skin. So be really careful in doing this part of the polish. Then as per the instructions, I'm gonna put my hands in the lamp and it has a 60 second timer on it, but it also will beep at the 30 second mark because for the base coat and the top coat, you only have to do for 30 seconds. So when you hear that little beep, then you're gonna take your hands out. And I do my two thumbs separate because I can't quite fit my whole hand in there. The color I'm using today is called Kitten Heel. And this is where gel polish is a little bit different than regular polish. If you put it on, and you want to do as thin, 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 thin as you can on this first um, layer, because you're gonna do two coats. And for some reason with gel polish, after a, a, just a very brief amount of time, it tends to start to pull away from the sides of your nail and up here at the top. And I got a little bit of over, um, over, got a little bit on my hand right here. So I'm just taking a regular craft brush with my fingernail acetone polish remover and I'm just cleaning that up just like that. Um, so you have to work fast with this kind of polish and the first coat you want to get on and do a very thin coat. On my nail you can see on the sides how it kind of lifted away just a little bit from the tip and from the side. So on the second coat of the polish to remedy that, what I like to do is work as quickly as I can and put my second coat on. And they even recommend that you brush along the tip like so. And I only cure two nails at a time because that's about how long or how fast I can paint 
and get it really nice and still not have it pull away from the side. And then I cure those and do two more. And any touch up work that you wanna do on this polish, you have to do when it's wet. It's not like regular polish and you can go back and do any touch up work afterwards. This kind, it has to be done while you're working because once you're done with these lights, that's the magic part about gel polish as well, is your nails are dry and done. There's no dry time. It's magical, it's majestic, it is the coolest thing ever. And I'm gonna go back, make sure I'm where I wanna be on my little sides, that one and then do those two fingers for 60 more seconds. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of this and then I'll show you how to end your polish. All right, the very last step to doing your nails and this is the magical most wonderful part. You get this little uh, cleanser that comes with your kit and you just take it and you rub off the, I don't know what it is, the excess, whatever, um, from the last coat, because I did my top coat as you saw, and then they're all beautiful and totally, completely dry and wonderful. I love these. Okay, so a couple things that you want to know about using gel polish are that you can't just take this kind of polish off with nail polish remover like you do other nail polish remover. You have to soak them and then they come off. So there is definitely a method to that. They also have a kit with this same brand of um, nail polish supplies that shows you and tells you how to do the removal process. So I recommend that you look at that as well. And definitely, definitely look for coupons, watch for um, deals and buying these kinds of things because they definitely, you don't have to pay full price. I didn't pay full price. I watched for the promos on them um, at either CVS or Walgreens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love your beautiful nails. I love mine. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.